Hello. Welcome to Cosmic Cultivators. Today is a special day. We're maybe two weeks early, but by the looks of things, they're ready. What are we talking about? We are going to try harvesting some of our potatoes today. We have two buckets of potatoes that are, well, starting to yellow. No, they're dying <laughs> back. So we're hoping that's a good thing. There are a few green plants left in here, but as you can see, for the most part, they are dying. So we're not sure if it's the spider mites or they're just ready two weeks early. So we've been hearing from gardening groups that root crops are doing excellent this year. That would go with potatoes. So, so you want to do the honors, dear? If I can move this thing. Oh, this always makes me so nervous. It's like, it's like the lottery. Although this year we did spend five dollars on this bucket, so. Oh, you're gonna have to flip it. It's <clears throat> getting the nastiness. Well, there is a lot of roots. That's a good thing, yeah. I possibly. There's a worm right there. Okay. Well, let's dig in, babe. I think that's a worm. So far, I haven't seen a single potato. Well, you're not even halfway through yet, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Hey! I see potatoes. So I'm gonna go get a basket. I was definitely hoping for more potatoes than this. That is for sure. Yeah, is it no good? Lot a lot a lot a lot of little 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 ones. But we can always plant those right back into the dirt. I'm gonna get in on it too, yeah. There's a there's a reason why that it they're failing right there. The seed potato is just mush. This one's looking a little more promising. Definitely not the big mass of potatoes I was hoping for. No. <clears throat> so bucket two. Some of these aren't looking as bad. But they're starting. So like the ones that look good, yes, have other ones that are coming out yellow. And then we have... So... <sighs> We're calling it, we have enough time to plant more, which is what we're gonna do. I'd yes. rather have healthy looking plants and not. Which is a learning lesson that we learned last year. We can, we can use what time we have to get two crops. Yeah. So that's what we're capitalizing on right now. But we need to do it now and get more spuds in the ground like yesterday. That, and these guys are sitting right next to all of our other potato plants that are still looking quite healthy. So, and if this is a disease or something else... Yeah, we don't want it to. But that's alright, because we have eight other buckets of potatoes, and we're going to replant these with potatoes. So, alright babe, let's, um, you want to yeah. dump it this time, or you want to just... I'd say probably pull for this bucket. We'll do one plant at a time. I think that will be the easiest way to go about it. So, again, everyone, we're, we're getting small taters. But we are getting taters. So we are, we do get a lot of um, 
starts we, more starts I'm gonna say we could pull those and throw those right in the dirt but I don't know how much energy those little tiny things there you go Yeah, they might be letting go inside there, too. Um, yeah. Hey! That's a real potato. Alright, I'm gonna... Yeah, gonna yeah. Letting go. Yeah, let's just get all the foliage out first. No one didn't even let me take the foliage oh. out. Spuds. Ugh. Yeah, that's the seed potato. And that's the that's the issue, okay? This is what happens when you overwater your potatoes. They turn into mush and then your plant dies. Not too bad. Yeah. I can't reach the bucket. You're starting to add up oh! now. Yeah, all mine are letting go in the dirt. Yeah, same thing, but there's some big ones. Bigger. Not huge for everybody. Just, you know. So even even ashing these, we really did. Oh. Didn't We're hurt. earthing up more. Cool. Here's a few more too. Oh, there's still some in there. <laughs> okay go yeah there's potatoes in here still So there it is. These are dirty. Our big potato reveal. It's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not horrible. And we're going to go ahead and tie that bag off and put a weight in for you. Right here, right now. And we're going to use this on our, probably our last weigh-in of the year. So I said it was about three pounds. And... We got four pounds, two ounces of Red Bliss potatoes. So notes you want to take on this deer? Less Def water. Definitely less water. I'm going to say less plants. I mean, we did try new things this year. I definitely think building up the soil helped, but I think there was so many plants, they didn't have room yeah. to yeah. spread their way. So less seeds less seeds um i would stick with the method we use except for the fact that i would water less often so we're not going to water the rest of our potatoes unless we'll they give you. absolutely need it yeah so that's our harvest we're going to walk over and show you the rest of the potatoes and why we haven't pulled them today and why we're holding off so this one here is probably going to be one of the next ones. Yeah, and that one actually did go to seed already. Yeah, flowered. That was the one that flowered, right? Yeah, this one did. Yeah, so this one has flowered. And you can see the difference in the size of plants. Like You can also see that this one... Baby, you can, like... Oh, yeah. Look at the size difference. Yeah, they're, they're about three feet tall. Eh, two and a half feet tall. 
but all right everyone we hope you enjoyed this potato reveal um, a quick little overlook of what's to come with potatoes still 46 more pounds to go. yes 46 more pounds to go so we have those four and like we said we already planted more we have sweet potatoes coming that's another potato right there yeah we have lots more potatoes so hope you enjoyed have a wonderful day peace love and happiness